Hi there, I'm Mike Greer and in this brief video I'd like to give you an overview of my new book, the second edition of the Project Management Minimalist, Just Enough PM to Rock Your Projects. Now the Minimalist is not meant to be read straight through like a textbook. It's more like a cookbook in that it's a collection of references and tools and guidelines that can help you do your job better as a project manager, project planner. It can help you work with teams better and it can also help you practice project management within the overall context of your organization. So let's take a look at some of the tools that are available for you in The Minimalist. Two important tools to support your effectiveness as a project manager include the Quick Start Guide and the Nuts and Bolts Stuff where you get 10 steps, 10 squeeze strategies, and 17 tools. Let's take a look at these. Now the Quick Start Checklist is designed to help you answer this cosmic question. If I can manage all of my projects with a simple one-page guide, then why wouldn't I do so? So start with the checklist, run your first project using only the checklist as your guide. Then step back and ask yourself, where did I need more detail? Where did I need more control? Where did I need more input from stakeholders and team members? Then, based on suggestions that are embedded in this checklist, jump out to the 10 steps within the Project Management Minimalist text and bring in that enhancement that you need to improve quality. Now here's a list of the 10 steps that you'll find in the Project Management Minimalist's nuts and bolts section. Each of these 10 steps, each one, is supported by one or more tools, guidelines, and so forth. And I'll show you how they're structured. I'm not going to get into each one of the individual steps here because, well, it would take a long time. And you have a pause button. You can stop and read them for yourself. What is important for our purposes in overviewing the Project Management Minimalist, though, is to let you know that each step includes an overview, a couple of paragraphs, background, specific results that you should attain in that step, a few bulleted items so you know what that step is designed to help you achieve. Some guidelines for completing the step process-wise, specific actions, and then doubling back and doing what I call the minimalist squeeze to minimize the time and effort that step takes. And finally, a whole collection of different tools, worksheets, guidelines, and samples. So we said earlier the minimalist was like a cookbook. Each of these steps you can jump into and get more detail if you need it only as you need it, but this is the structure of each of them, so it's easy to find what you want quickly. Another part of the Project Management Minimalist is a section that's designed to help you take care of yourself, you personally, as a project manager, and manage your priorities, your time, and your energy. Now within this Take Care of Yourself section, you're going to find 14 best practices that can help you as an individual project manager struggling dealing with stress every day, dealing with too many priorities, trying to figure out how to balance your entire workload. We've got tips here from some of the best authors, consultants, uh, even some spiritual stuff, as well as physiological basics. So there's things in here that can help you stay on top of your game and attend to you personally and take care of yourself. So we've seen how the Project Management Minimalist can help you get your arms around that nuts and bolts stuff to get your project well organized and manage it effectively. And we've also looked at how it can help you take care of yourself by helping you manage your priorities, time, and energy. But what about the people stuff? What about managing your team, all that messy uh, human interaction stuff that can make you so crazy? Well, we've got 10 sets of inspirations as well as 10 specific performance-based challenges matching each of those inspirations that you can use with a project team. So here's a list of the 10 inspirations and matching sets of team challenges that you'll find in the People Stuff section. Now I'm not going to go into each one of these in detail. I assume you have a pause control if you want to stop and look at them. But the bottom line is that when your project team starts to feel stuck or it starts to have difficulty, there's a good chance that you can jump into one of these and get a little bit of motivation and support for dealing with the issue. Each of the items in the People Stuff section begins with key quotes, a couple of war stories, some examples, and a little philosophy to get you thinking about the broader issues. And then we ask you to step back and reflect on what you think about these as a project leader. Now, after that, you can apply specific step-by-step -step team challenges where we have definite questions that you can ask your team 
and challenge them. You have specific things that you can do as a project manager to challenge yourself to become a better leader related to this particular topic. And then each ends with some learn more suggestions, some books and audio references with links directly to the audio references. You should know that each of these is based on a podcast and the audio podcast is available for download for free from the Inspired Project Teams website which I also maintain. Now the Project Management Minimalist takes into account that an effective project happens in the larger context of the overall organization. As a result, the nuts and bolts tools have a great emphasis on getting stakeholders involved and adequately coordinated and informed and building consensus and all that kind of good organizational support stuff that you need to make a project work. But beyond this, we've included a glossary of terms that can help you communicate more effectively about project management with people and at the same time, a minimalist integration guide that shows a three-staged process which can help you roll out project management minimalism in your organization in a gentle way. So the bottom line here is that the project management minimalist supports you as a project manager with lots of tools and guidelines and challenges. It supports you working with your project team to become more effective as a group and it supports the overall project management minimalist approach in your organization. And the good news is the Project Management Minimalist is available in several different formats. So you can have it in hard copy, you can run it on your Kindle, you can get a Nook version or a PDF version you can use for your computer. So go to my website to find out which versions are available right now and how to get them. From my homepage, just click on the PM Minimalist navigation button on the left hand side. That will cause two more buttons to open up on the right, including lots of information about the books, its current formats and so forth and all the freebies that you can find to support your work. Finally you'll see in the bottom left there is a couple of icons. Click on those to follow me on Twitter or to go directly to the dedicated Project Management Minimalist Facebook page. So thanks for watching and thanks for making life simpler out there by becoming a Project Management Minimalist.